So this tabla is kind of special for me because it belonged to my father, and uh, these uh, drums are kind of rare because it's a very large uh, head, um, and the reason uh, why uh, you know my father had this one is because it's a uh, especially good for vocalists. So see how nice and majestic it sounds like a pakhawa almost. And so if you were to listen to my father's works, you'd probably hear him playing this. He, he was just the most amazing player, uh, also my teacher, of course. But uh, his style of playing uh, is very, you know, I guess close to like an open style. And, and you know, he was from Punjab and he, some of his uh, good friends that were playing around him. He wasn't a tabla player, but he knew everything about the tabla because he taught me. And so, his style of playing was very uh, open, you know, like, he would play like a pakhawaj almost. But at the same time, it didn't sound, you know, like, especially uh, super loud or anything like that. He just laid down a groove and it was very majestic. And also at the same time, uh, he kept the music very melodic. I don't know if you understand uh, what I'm trying to say, but the, the idea is that when you op play the tabla open like this, sometimes you get lots of overtones, but he would have a way of controlling them. Anyway, this start, the drum is, like I said, to me a very special drum, and I'm so fortunate that you know I'm able to play this for you today. Basically, uh, you you are looking at you know I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with. There's so much Indian music out there right now that uh, I don't have to explain almost everything. But <coughs> so this one. Well, the, the thing that I was teaching just about half an hour ago to my class is this whole concept of uh, how to get an emotion out of your performance. And so while we have the, the melodic side, uh, we also have the rhythm side which is, you know, can create emotion. So like for instance, if I was to do like... playing around with the rhythm and that's the fun part of it so you can you know kind of start with a standard thing like da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, which is uh, taking a theka theka is like a rhythmic groove and then kind of going uh, you know and improvising on it and stuff like that and I think this is really the, the idea but the thing that to take out emotions it's not all about the theka you know it's not all about playing something that you have learned and then you're trying to, you know, kind of play it back from memory or whatever. But this is all about feeling. Like if I go... play with the rhythm I think a lot of uh, times I've noticed and this is just my training uh, my father would uh, you know I was um, really into the power mode power means you know you just take the tabla you let go fight with it a little bit and that's cool I mean yeah this is uh, I was like about 14 or 15 and I was studying this thing and I was all about playing it as fast as I could but gradually you know especially playing with somebody as uh, as amazing as my dad it taught me he taught me kind of that 
it's sometimes good to just listen rather than play the playing is really a complement to the listening okay so when you listen to the music then what you put into it should be like gold and i think this is this is what i kind of took from what he was uh, uh, trying to you know kind of pass down to me and that was that you don't just play because you're a drummer and you're playing and you just take over the whole performance but you listen and then when listen happens then magic happens okay so and i think by listening it it kind of drew upon me this whole uh, you know a side and probably the real side of uh, what music is all about and what we are all trying to attain and that is you know trying to understand uh, and also trying to create and trying to bring forward our emotions and i think this was a, a large topic of what i was explaining to the kids uh, for my class this afternoon is this whole idea of emotions we have an incredible set of uh, you know human emotions that we all trying to portray so if i go like is so important that you know when you go and you kind of playing around there's a groove happening underneath right and the groove is what's really the the crux of the whole thing especially for people like who are doing a lot of rhythm so when you play this dha ka gin ka din ta ta ge gin ka din dha gin ka din ta ta ge gin ka din dha gin ka din ta ta ge gin ka din ta ta ge gin ka din ta ta ge gin ka din a very cool groove uh, the name of this is called keherwa dhagi na tin ak din dhagi na tin ak din you can say uh, like the way i'm saying right now dhagi na tin ak din dhagi na and you know i mean uh, you've heard tabla players singing out right in the middle of the performance they'll sing out a little piece and then play it um but that singing out that's a very important thing because it's a language okay so what we're doing is taking a language a drum that speaks and and this is the beauty of this drum it literally has its own language so i mean which man you know so here's the language i'll just explain it quickly so ta ta ten tit kit ta ten tit kit gh like gh gh na na tit kit ta ka tit kit ta ka and if you combine the ta and the gh together makes a dha so they go ta ten tit So now, if you learn this language, then you can create a little story. Now, if you're familiar with Indian music, like when I play the sitar, I do the same thing. I mean, I play uh, a composition. We call it a gath. uh it could be something that is you know i mean there's people who have created certain compositions that have a certain name like my son is uh, right now studying some masid khani gath the masid khan was a guy born many many years ago at the beginning of the sitar era and he made something famous and it was named after him uh so some like that 
those those people that make things famous then their gharana and their household they will follow them which is uh, very good but remember that it is also in your hands if you are able to make these gats yourself why not so a gat basically is a story you know there's a story to tell now rhythmically if i was going to create something like so i've just made an ta tin tatak tu na tatak tu na tatak tu ta tu tatak ta tin tatak tu na so these are grooves and so this would be like a gat now if you can keep that gat in mind then you have a theme like So this could be like a theka, where you have like dhadhin, tataka tu na. There is no theka like this, but it could be, right? So you could actually uh, create multiple thekas. Now, in Indian music, you hear the regular ones batted about. One of them is like teen tal. Then you have kehara tal. You have rupak, uh, dhamar, jap tal, jalti tal. I mean, we have like ten or fifteen really good ones. So when you have uh, uh, all these and you are trained in this whole concept. Then of course you know you you are often running and there's a vast um, repertoire that every grana every teacher I mean you know you can just it's it's an amazing thing and it's it's a very uh, large repertoire in many cases you spend lifetimes my father always said you need three lifetimes at least to learn Indian music and he wasn't joking 
you know so uh, we are looking at an art form that is expansive it's just and maybe expensive i don't know but it's just it just keeps growing and there is no stopping it but the secret to learning uh, an art form like this is not to learn everything there is out there i mean it's a good job you can go and learn for 50 years from your teacher or maybe 60 years by that time you're done so maybe learning was all you had so really the secret to doing this thing is not to spend so much time absorbing yeah you learn stuff but then you learn the crux of how that stuff is created and i think that's really the goal so when you go ta din ta ta ka tu na that's little groove that play around it and it's kind of gets exciting now let me just start nice then we get faster this uh, again just a blessing to have my father's tabla right here so uh, i feel like his energy is coming out when i'm playing these drums but uh, yeah so thank you so much for joining me i'm going to turn this thing off right now and we'll see you again next time okay thank you <laughs>